you get, having Jalen, and that sets the tone for the movement. Like that, to me, the number one job of the point guard is control and manage the game, so it keeps us organized. And then it, it's the unselfishness of everybody. It's uh, every, guys are making plays, and when the ball comes up quickly, and we 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 can create movement off off the pace. Just read the game. The game tells you what to do. And we have a number of guys that are high assist guys. Julius is a very willing passer. RJ, a very willing passer. So, and then our bench is terrific. We had, obviously the we played the three point guards together, and we felt we got good stuff off of that group. Obi got going, you know. So it was a, a balanced attack. I thought we created a lot of good shots. I thought we got in a little bit of trouble overhandling the ball to start the third. And then once we got back to getting the ball going side to side, it, it, you know, things were good again. I think you mentioned that the first game, the, the pace that uh, Derek and Frank and McBride played. Um, and OB too, like uh, he's, but, yeah. Yeah, and, and it, there's a lot of versatility to that, so like, with uh, and Isaiah is part of that group, but Jericho as well. So it's an athletic group. You know, they like to throw ahead. They like to play off the pass. And then our bigs are creating good action if the ball's being reversed through them. And so just keep attacking, get into the paint, and then make your rim read. And then when we do drive, we got to respace the floor. When we do that, we're we're creating high percentage shots, and it's also leading to good offensive rebounding. So we, we, we're scoring off that as well. Yeah, it's just, you know, and, it, and it's, it's, it, it's also his personality. It just, he brings life in everything he does. He walks in the building and there's a bounce to him, you know, so he energizes the team. You can feed off of that. But I think when he's, Playing defense and you know getting out and we can play fast. He's and everything is fast with him. If he's the trail big, taking it to the backside real fast. There's no hesitation. And guys like playing like that. They like when there's not an overhandle. He's he's real quick at getting the ball to the backside. Yeah, I think, I think one of his, the two, two of the dunks, one was a blocky by him. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, his defense. Yeah, and he's he's worked hard at it. There's still ways to go, but he's made great strides. I think he and Quick have great chemistry together. I think that's a big plus. Uh, so there's there's a lot of positives, and the, the, you know, I don't know. Deuce is just tough, <laughs> you know, and I think every team needs toughness, and he provides that. Great. I think just, you know, playoff, you know, and the, the game is a little choppy because of the way the minutes are being distributed, you know, so he'll get a better rhythm, you know, as we get closer. But I like I love his demeanor. I love the the playmaking. He, you know, I think we're we got to search him out and transition a little bit more. Uh, but if he's pushing like just create the pace, but also get off when you get off it, create movement. Don't stand. I think when he creates movement, because he's such a magnet, like people are gonna collapse to him. And it just opens up the floor. So even though he may not be scoring, he's creating a lot of good things for us. I know Reddish wasn't able to knock down the shots, you know, like he can and I want all our players to understand you can play well without shooting well. And his length, his athleticism, running the floor, you know, getting into the paint. I thought he had several good drives. And then, like, I want him to read. If there's a collapse, you've done your job. Now spray. And so I'm, I want to look at the film. But uh, overall, I thought there was some real good things. You know, so I, we just got to build each day. And so he's, you know, and the, the hard thing is him building rhythm. If you know if he gets nicked up, he misses practice or he misses a game, then you, you got to restart, restart. You know, so we got to get through all that stuff. No, no, no. It's easy. 
Like if people keep saying that, it, it, that's not the way this works. The way this works is when you're on the floor, if you play well and the group performs well, you're going to determine who plays. You know, it has to be merit-based. 